Yo, what is up guys? I'm Dane. Welcome back to Damon at Game. Today we're back with a brand new Black Ops 3 video. Today we are going to break down that part of the Dr. Monty trailer where Tank Dempsey is holding a different weapon. So without further ado, let's get straight into that video. Okay guys, I'm quickly going to kick this off with a tiny bit of begging. I'm not going to make this as long as usual, so I'm going to do this as quick as I can so we can get straight into this information. Today, we're trying to go flat 1-1 one, one light goal, so if you please could like this video, I would really, really appreciate that. You are awesome. If you could share this video with your friends, that again would make you absolutely awesome. And don't forget, if you're new around here and you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure to subscribe. That is it. No more begging. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, recently I made a news video and I broke down a little bit what the gun that Tank Dempsey is holding in Dr. Monty's trailer. I myself actually called it the Blundergat, but there are many, many, many of you that think it is the Dingo, the Ajax, or the MG42. Today I am going to compare that gun from the trailer to many, many other guns and debunk every theory you have told me and show you how I think the LSAT from Black Ops 2 and Ghosts will be coming to DLC 4 Black Ops 3. Okay, so the gun in question. It is up on screen now. There's a little clip playing first. It's playing normal speed then in reverse. So you can just get a feel for what the gun looks like. So I suggest you keep your eye on that gun. It keeps playing back and forth and just keep your eye on it. So you can point out specific areas of the gun that we can compare to other guns. Now I'm actually going to freeze frame the footage and bring up the actual gun so we can draw a little bit of an outline and hope that helps us compare it to other types of guns. As you can clearly see it has got quite a narrow barrel, there are no handles on top and there is a big square clip on the bottom. Tank Dempsey also holds it with his right arm hooked underneath the gun and his left hand is currently on the side of the gun. So let's get straight into the first comparison and I'm going to go straight in with the dingo because everybody thinks it's the dingo so we're going to debunk that one straight away. So the dingo is up on screen right now and as you can see the clip from the dingo is actually a cylinder. A cylinder meaning a circle on the bottom and it's kind of like a circle all the way through. It's not a circle, it's a cylinder and it points out towards the gun, towards the front of the gun. Not only that, the thickness of the clip is the same thickness of the actual gun itself, but to debunk most of these guns, we are just going to use the clip size because that is the most obvious part we can do. So as you can see on a dingo, cylinder clip, look at the other photo on the Dr. Monty trailer, that big square clip. Thin, narrow, square, big box on the bottom of the gun. Dingo debunk. It's not Dingo. The next gun up is going to be the R70 Ajax. That is the brand new LMG we have just got in Black Ops 3. And again, I'm going to compare the clips. And when I say clips, I mean the ammo box at the bottom. And we can clearly, clearly see that the Ajax is not the gun from the trailer. The Ajax clip is somewhat merged into the body. It's not a separate piece. It's merged in such a way that it makes the Ajax look kind of slimline in a way. As you can clearly see from the comparisons, the clips are completely different. This is not the Ajax debunked. Another comment that I keep getting recently is the gun in the trailer is actually the MG42 and again I've got no idea where people were saying MG42 in the comments. You can clearly clearly see on screen they look nothing alike. There is a cylinder clip on the side of the MG42 and we are trying to find a gun with a big square clip on the bottom and don't forget it's just not a normal square clip it's a very very wide and long square clip but it's very narrow at the same time. So that is the MG42 debunked. Those were the most suggested guns for this particular gun in the trailer so I'm glad I've got all these out of the way so I don't want to hear dingo in my comment section once today please. But now we're actually going to compare this gun to every LMG in Black Ops free so we can debunk every single one and prove that this is a new gun either come into black ops 3 or is a new gun in the trailer at least okay so we've done a dingo that is one we've already had and we've done the ajax we've already debunked that one next we're going to do the gorgon we can debunk this one really really fast there is no clip on the bottom of the gorgon so debunked not going to go any further into that done next up we got the brm now as you can see the brm does have a clip at the bottom and it is kind of square but if you do look very very closely the clip that is on the brm is rounded on the corners and it's got a very very thick shell case i mean it's more like a square all round compared to the gun in dr monty's trailer where it's actually thin and if anything it resembles a small pizza box so i would say that is the brm debunked and last but not least the current guns we have in black ops 3 is the m4 Dredge. Now when I saw this one I kind of thought oh great it's the M48 Dredge and I was pretty gutted when I saw it but upon further inspection if you look very very closely the clip for the M48 
dredge it's still got quite a bit of thickness to the clip it's still quite thick in its dimensions even though it's got square and it is probably the best resemblance to the one we're looking at you can clearly see it's a different clip the clip in dr monty's trailer and when i say clip don't forget we're talking about ammo box the ammo box on the gun in dr monty's trailer is very very thin again it's like a pizza box if you can imagine a pizza box maybe let's say a nine inch pizza it is a square but the actual box is probably about one to two inches in depth as you can clearly see the 48 dredge has quite a chunky clip i do not think this is the gun so we're going to debunk this one straight away now we're going to get into some guns that were in past black ops with the biggest resemblance and at the end of this video i'm going to show you a gun that is a spitting image of the one in frame something iconic to the call of duty franchise and the gun that i think will be returning let's kick this off with another gun that people keep mentioning and we have saw in other posters the banshee this is another gun that was highly requested within that video saying it could be the banshee i don't really need to go into too much detail you can see what we're looking out for on a particular photos the banshee looks nothing like it the banshee looks like more of a futuristic gun compared to the gun that's in a dr monty trailer I'm not going to talk any more about this gun because you can clearly see it's not the banshee okay so the next possible weapon that i've had a few suggestions for is the chainsaw gun from ghosts it is on screen now Again, it has got that clip we are looking for. It's got the thin, narrow clip, even though the one that Tank Dempsey is holding does still seem a little bit slimmer. But the only problem with the chainsaw gun is got a huge handle on top and some sort of launcher under the bottom. I mean, this is definitely not the gun. Apart from the clip, that is basically the only resemblance. So I don't think it is the chainsaw gun either. We're going to debunk this one right now. Next up is the Browning from War It War. I've had this suggested a couple of times. Again, it's a very long, narrow gun. This gun is, is actually a side feeder by that it means it loads bullets in through the side and it's meant to be set up stationary so you put it on the floor usually even though we did use it running around the map so we're going to debunk the browning unfortunately and move on to the next gun now the next guns is where it gets very very interesting we are going to kick this off first with the amelie i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not 100 percent sure a m e l i it could even be known as the amelie or the amelie now this gun was in both call of duty ghosts and call of duty advanced warfare and the resemblance on this gun is very very alike it's got that exact clip that we're looking for even though it seems a little bit too narrow than what we're looking for it does seem like that is it the only the only giveaway that makes me think this is not the gun is the handle on top as you can see there's a handle on top with a very big sight on the end and i cannot really see that within dr monty trailer but this is very very possible this is the gun that he's holding not only that if you look very carefully on the actual trailer it does look like it's a double barrel of some sort it looks like there's two barrels on top though i'm not sure that could just be the shape of the moldings on top of the gun but this is a very 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 good guess as to what that gun in the trailer is but it's not until i get onto the next gun that you're gonna think damn okay the last gun the one you've all been waiting for the one you've all probably clicked on this button thinking dang you clickbait asshole why have you said it's the lmg when you're just guessing when you see the resemblance and when you understand my tiny bit of story behind this particular gun you're gonna think dang i think you're right son i think you could be right you know so don't forget i have gone through every single gun that you guys have suggested in my comments all of them i've debunked them all you can clearly see there is no arguments anymore those are not the guns you guys have been suggesting at all that is not them now i found a gun which looks like the Amelie or the Amelie however you want to pronounce it but it has more of a connection to Black Ops than the Amelie it is the one the only the buyable gun from Buried the LSAT if you guys don't know the LSAT was obviously a game in Black Ops 2 you could also buy it in zombies so it was a gun that has been used in zombies before it was actually in a map Buried you could buy it off the wall right at spawn and obviously you can get out of the box as well not only was it in black ops 2 it was also in ghosts so it's been used twice so far and we haven't saw it come back for a while now it skipped advanced warfare completely but this gun was bay anybody that played buried used the lsat there was a trick at the beginning of buried where you could jump up on a ledge and buy the lsat for a few thousand points the ledge would actually fall down so you had to buy it very very quick but it was it was life i mean this gun was so iconic in zombies it was like right let's get the ray gun mark ii let's get the paralyzer let's get the lsat that was your gun setup in buried if you if you had mule kick that was the gun setup if you wanted to be a boss at buried those were the three guns that you would have picked up now look at the resemblance can you understand what i'm saying about the clip the clip on this particular 
gun is very narrow. Of course, there are different models of this gun, by the way. There are different models. One of the particular models looks a little bit too thick for what I'm looking for, but if you look at some of the older models of the gun, like the one that comes on Call of Duty Wiki, it looks, it looks spot on. It looks exactly like what we are looking at in the trailer for Dr. Monty. You can see that clip is very thin, looks like a small pizza box, sticks out from the actual gun, and is a very narrow gun itself. It's a gun that you would hold by putting your right arm underneath the stock of the gun and then using your left hand to hold the end of the gun. So the body language that Tank is actually using within the trailer actually fits the way you would hold this particular gun. Not only that, the clip is absolutely spot on. I mean, there is no other gun that I can think of. And believe me, I have gone through many, many guns. Every gun that you guys have suggested, I've looked. I've looked, I've looked at the clip, I've looked at the size, the barrels, all these little giveaways to what gun this could be in a Dr. Monty trailer. And I know I said the Blundergat guys, it was the top of the barrel, it looked like a double barrel shotgun. But until I played that clip over and over again, I can see that to me, and I suppose now to many others that has been paused and you're looking right at the screen, I think that LSAT is coming back to Black Ops 3. Now you guys could be thinking, dang, you've just seen a gun in the trailer, don't mean they're going to bring it back. But let's be honest there, that's kind of false advertising. If they're going to tease something so major in that trailer, it's got to be coming back to Black Ops. And if it's not, why shouldn't we know what gun it is anyway? Even if it's not coming back to Black Ops, we should still have the chance to know what gun he is holding in that trailer because we want to know you want to know what guns he's using what time he's from and when everything is taking place so guys we have got the lsat on screen and the picture of tank dempsey holding a gun which i believe to be the lsat i want to know what you guys think i think the lsat is coming back to black ops 3 if you agree please leave a comment in the comment box below i'd really like to know i've gone through so many guns and put a lot of work into this just trying to debunk exactly what that gun he is he is holding and sadly that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video like i said i've tried breaking it down as best as i can i hope you guys agree with me on this decision i mean i've gone through a lot of the suggestions that you did say and debunked them pretty easily so i kind of hope you agree with this one on me if you have please make sure you leave your comments in the comment box below we're trying to hit that 115 like goal as usual so if you could hit that I would really appreciate it and don't forget to share this video with your friends But guys until next time. This is your boy game Listen.